Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past couple of days. Starting off here on Quattro Kalinas, where after being AFK for a few minutes, I came back to see an albino mouflon ram that had come down to start drinking in the time I'd been away. Now, there is going to be something a little bit different about this video, and you probably have already noticed it, is that I have a new microphone. So I hope this sounds a lot better than my previous microphone. This is an actual proper microphone, which I'm really excited to actually start using for videos. So hopefully that this will sound a lot better for you guys. So let me know down in the comments how it sounds, and hopefully this is going to be a lot better. But starting off with this nice little level 3 albino, sadly not big enough to make gold, but he is actually slightly bigger than a previous albino ram that I had in the lodge, so he will be going in there to replace that one. That shot was almost too far forward, but I managed to get heart and double lung, so it was a bit of a clutch shot that I was really pleased I actually managed to drop him on the spot. Now for this next clip we are here on Rancho del Arroyo where as you can see we are looking at a level 5 mule deer. Now unfortunately when I came down to this lake I did spook this guy from his zone so what I ended up doing was firing a 22 shot near him which actually made him go alarmed rather than alert straight away but you can see he's already calming down going alert there and I really didn't want to take that front on shot it just didn't feel right so I was hoping that he would go nervous and come back to drink where these other mule deer were moving back in. Unfortunately he was the only one that spooked but being a level 5 it's not really a surprise that he was the one to spook off from the group. And before I fired that 22 shot he was just walking off into the brush and not coming back at all but thankfully seemingly firing that 22 near him made him change his mind and come back which is really what I needed to happen there. And you can just see the size of this guy as he moves through that brush what an incredible looking animal. Honestly, if mule deer are the next great one, I really wouldn't complain because I think they will look incredible. And as he stood sort of quartering to but mostly broadside there, managed to get a very solid shot into him and his health began to drop immediately. Such an impressive looking animal and picking him up, he is a 319.20 diamond mule deer. Really beautiful animal, not the highest scoring, but just so impressive. Like, honestly, that is an incredible looking animal. Those antlers are huge. And I can only imagine what a great one mule deer would actually look like. So if that is the next great one, I will be very, very excited to see. You can see they make diamond at 314.80 and he has a 319.20. So not massively over diamond, but still a good bit over that margin. And I managed to get him there with a right lung, liver and stomach shot. He really wasn't going to go anywhere from that with the M1. Now for this next clip, we are here on a Verhonga Savannah multiplayer server where I ended up spotting this incredibly impressive looking animal. That is a level 5 male Gemsbok with the bigger style of horns. Now unfortunately level 5 male Gemsbok even with these bigger horns tend to troll an incredible amount. I have shot a fair few of them and unfortunately almost always these guys troll and I haven't had one on PC that has actually made diamond. So when I saw this guy, I was expecting him to be the same as all the other ones I had shot up until this point, that he was probably going to troll, especially with that top estimate only being up to 341. Managed to get a frontal double lung shot on him there, and as you can see, his health started dropping really, really quickly. He really didn't go very far from that shot. But looking at him on the ground, he just looks so huge. Those horns are massive, but I still expected him to troll the same as all the others. But he actually made it. 337.90 scoring diamond male Gemsbok when 337.50 is diamond. So only a tiny bit above the requirement, but he is a diamond and I am absolutely thrilled to finally be able to put a male diamond Gemsbok into the trophy lodge. And as you can see, I did manage to get that frontal double lung shot and with the 300, he really just wasn't going to go anywhere from that. What an incredible animal. I am so lucky to have got on a male that's actually made diamond because they really do not make diamond a whole lot for the males. So this was a really, really awesome animal that I was incredibly happy to harvest. 
Now, onto a different map once again. We are here on Medved Tiger, where I spotted this guy. A level 5 reindeer with an estimate of 429 to 509. But he has a style of antlers that I didn't think could actually make diamond. And unfortunately, I spent a long time there trying to actually get a shot on him while he was in his zone that he moved into just after I took that initial clip. But his zone was so far into the reeds that I couldn't even get a spotting outline on him. So in, in the end, I decided to chase him out of that zone and actually try and follow him into an area that was a bit more open so that I could get a shot on him. Well, he ended up leading me around for quite a while before I actually managed to get a spot on him in an open area where I'd be able to get a shot. Now, as I mentioned, I really didn't think this guy could make diamond with these particular antlers. Even though that bottom estimate of 429 is just below diamond requirement, I really didn't think he'd make it. I thought he probably would be 429 point, maybe 0.1 or something like that. But managed to finally get a shot in him there with the M1 and brought this track to a close after such a long time of trying to get him down. And I was expecting this to all have been for effectively a gold reindeer. But when I picked him up, he was a diamond at 433.40. And I was completely blown away. I did not expect this guy to make it with this particular rack. And I've been told since that it is very rare that this rack style actually makes diamond for the reindeer. So it's even cooler that I actually managed to get this one because it's not a common rack to see as a diamond. And you can see diamond requirement is 430.20. So that minimum estimate being at 429 that's why i had to chase this guy for 3.83 kilometers because i had to know if this could actually make diamond so this is a diamond reindeer that i just didn't expect to actually get this is a completely different rack style to what i was looking for for a diamond reindeer but seeing as it is so uncommon to get one with this rack make diamond i will definitely take it really really awesome to get this and have this as a diamond for the trophy lodge Sticking with Medved Tiger multiplayer, I ended up coming down to this area in search of brown bear, musk deer and reindeer, but I ended up finding two max weight estimate wild boar tracks literally side by side. So seeing as I'd just gotten host of the server, I fast travelled back to the nearest lodge and thought I would come back and see what the chances were that one of those was a level 5. Now, one of them did end up being a max weight estimate level 4, but the other was this level 5. And as you will see, I did spook him out from his need zone, but it didn't end up being a problem at all as he turned around and was coming straight back. And from this led down position, I managed to drop him on the walk with the M1. No problems at all. Really big looking tusks on this guy on the ground and he did make diamond at 145.50 when 144.20 is the diamond requirement. 220 kgs on the dot so no surprise he isn't actually that high above the diamond requirement but a diamond is a diamond and you don't see an awful lot of diamond wild boar so I was really really happy to get this guy. Moving on to a Vrahonga Savannah multiplayer now. And I was down in this area looking for lions, hoping that I could maybe come across an albino male lion. But I ended up picking a max weight track up, so I decided to follow it in case it ended up being a legendary. And sure enough, after a very short track, I found the lion and he was a level 9. Now, he was in a little bit of an awkward spot with some trees and brush that kept blocking my shots. And eventually I just saw this shot opportunity. I didn't know if I would collide with the tree hitbox there, but I actually managed to get a shot in between those trees and hit his vitals. I was really amazed I'd even made that shot. And picking him up, he is a diamond at 48.70 when 48.50 is diamond. So not a massive diamond, but still a diamond. And it was just such a short track to come across a legendary lion. And seeing as this lake was actually covered in need zones, I really would have expected the host would have found this. So I couldn't believe 
believe it when I actually spotted him and he was a legendary and that he didn't troll and actually made diamond. I've shot a few legendary lines recently and all of them had been trolls. So it was really nice to actually get one again that made diamond. But you can see, managed to get that in through the right lung and into the liver. And honestly, I was just pleased to have gotten another diamond line. You don't see a whole lot of them and they're really, really cool to find. So another animal I was incredibly happy to harvest. And finally, moving on to by far the most special animal in this entire video, I ended up picking up a max weight brown cape buffalo track. And when I saw that it was a brown, I thought, okay, I better follow this because I have always wanted a brown diamond cape buffalo. And I have followed max weight brown cape buffalo tracks before and they are either level sevens or level eights, never seen a level nine brown. And I've chased this track a few hundred meters and then this just comes out of the brush at me. That is a big horns legendary brown cape buffalo. And at this point I'm trying to hit record as quickly as possible because he is running around stuck in this area. And I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. And he has the most insane estimate with a 161 minimum on the estimate but I didn't even notice that at the time I've only noticed that since I looked at it like in recording because I was just in shock that it was a big horns legendary I just didn't look at that score estimate I was thinking okay this is definitely a diamond I just need to make a good shot on him and just watching him running around in close-up my heart was beating so fast this had me equally as excited as actually finding great ones because it is just a dream animal for me so i decided i definitely wasn't going to try and take a shot while he was running around in this area that i was going to wait for him to spook out and actually run normally rather than do sort of dodging and diving from side to side because i didn't want to put any kind of risky shot into this guy you do not see a lot of brown diamond cape buffalo and you don't see a lot of big horns diamond brown cape buffalo at all so after a short chase, I managed to get him into an area where it was open and I could see where he was. And oh my gosh, my heart was just pounding. I was so nervous about taking this shot because I have had incidences with the 300 just not getting that penetration. So I was just making sure that I was entirely comfortable with that shot before I even thought about taking a shot on this guy. It just wasn't worth risking anything but something I was totally comfortable with. So I managed to get him to go alert. He turns broadside and I managed to put a shot into him. And I was holding my breath until I saw that his health was dropping. And I knew that that must have been a good shot for him to have started to go down so quickly. And just seeing him on the ground, what an incredible beast. That fur is just so beautiful. It's almost more red than brown. And with those huge horns, I was just in shock. And at this point, remember, I did not look at that score estimate. So I did not know that he was a minimum of 161. And I was trying to get the uh, hunter mate to go away there so I could get a nice screenshot. And he is a max weight, max score brown diamond cape buffalo. That is only my second ever max weight and max score diamond buffalo. And it happens to be a brown. Please forgive the other buffalo there that is charging me. But I couldn't be more happy. A diamond max score brown cape buffalo. That is by far one of the coolest trophies I've ever, ever had in this entire game. An absolute dream animal for me. And like I said, I was hoping that it maybe was a small horns diamond. I did not think that in my wildest dreams he would be big horns and be a big horns diamond. And you can see that other buffalo did actually manage to kill me. So it's going to fast travel me back to the nearest lodge. But oh my gosh, I had only just gotten host of this session and I went down there to that particular inlet that is so good for Cape Buffalo as there was no need zones in the entire area and this was down there. Just one of the best trophies ever for me. I know I've already said that but I just couldn't stop staring at it because you don't see these very often and yes it's not a rare, it is an uncommon fur type but to get an uncommon diamond is always cool and for it to be a max weight and max score like this is absolutely insane. 
So definitely going in the Trophy Lodge in one of my favourite multi-mounts, the Breadwinner multi-mount, with a couple of rare lions. What an awesome animal on an awesome hunt. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.